Ladies and gentlemen, this is Joe's Classic Video Games back with another classic arcade game video for you this evening. This evening we have a legendary one. This is the incredible, super famous, everybody likes it, haven't ever met anybody that doesn't like it, 1982 Atari Dig Dug cabinet. And this is the original, of course. Everything on it is original. We, we fixed this for a... Uh, for a uh, family they were having some monitor problems and we got it doing its thing and we're going to film a little video of it because everybody loves Dig Dug including me this was like I said 1982 and at this point Atari was making the coolest looking cabinets in my opinion they're just perfectly designed they all had black bottoms or most of them had black bottoms I guess Food Fight didn't but so around the coin door it's all black and then the top half of the front has art on it that's very well done so the the artwork around the monitor kind of matches what's on the monitor and blah, blah 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 and then of course they had this fantastic side art so there he is with his little uh, bicycle pump <laughs> or whatever and I think those are pukas and those are figars I believe I believe I've got that right but look at the art, man, just so cool. Screams arcade game. This is the type of stuff that kind of invented the what you expect out of an arcade game. This is kind of how you want the art to be. <laughs> you just want it to, to look awesome. And then the other side, of course, is the exact same thing, but backwards. This particular one is in really nice shape. Still in good original condition. That's the original side art. Hasn't been replaced or anything. I'm no expert on printing, but I believe the way they made these was they cut out big pieces of plywood with vinyl on it, and then they screened this right on the wood. If you ever get one where the the uh, art has peeled off, that vinyl's peeled off, the reason you know it was screened on is because there's heat impressions on the actual wood behind it. So they actually put the art on it after the wood was cut which is strange you can get reproduction pieces that are these big oh I don't know if you can get reproduction dig dug art but they're these big uh, stickers basically but this was actually done after the sticker was on the cabinet but look at that man great looking game these and the Nintendo cabinets were really well done the art on them is just fantastic Look at that. This is the original marquee. Atari's marquees were glass. Uh, silk screened glass. He is making it happen. And then up at the top you've got little flowers because you know they grow at the top of the screen on the game and then down below you have a rock hitting the puka and a rock going for the figar who's getting blown up it's down here at the bottom that introduces them dig dug puka engineered and designed by namco manufactured under license by atari and Figar. Just fantastic art. The bezel too is glass. So Centipede looks, you know, very similar to this and is an equally awesome cabinet, but you don't see Dig Dug as much, even though it's probably a better game, you know? Dig Dug's awesome. And then one of my favorite control panels too. I just love the way that it looks and the colors and stuff. Look at that. What a what an awesome design. So very simple. Four-way joystick, two pump buttons, and two start buttons. Of course Atari's famous volcano cone start buttons. And when you put a credit on it, it's gonna flash. Let's read the instructions, people. If you haven't played this, you've missed out for a long time. Today, that's all changing. Instructions. 
Destroy monsters by blowing them up or dropping rocks on them. That's very simple, you know. To blow up monsters, press the pump button to stun. Hold to burst. I didn't know you held it. I always like hit it several times. Well, now I know. Monsters are worth more points at deeper levels. You know, I didn't know that either. Damn. Dropping rocks. Dig out from under the rocks to make them fall. Destroy multiple monsters with each rock for the highest score. So horizontal scoring, you get 200 to 500 points. You get 400 to 1,000 points on the Figar. He's more dangerous because he breathes fire. Vertical scoring, you get 200 to 500 points on Figar. You get 200 to 500 points on Puka. And I would I would guess the reason for that is because Figar, when he, he just did it, look when Figar goes vertical. He can't blow fire at you above or below. So it's more dangerous to blow him up from the side. That's why you get more points. So there you go. Man, such a sweet game. Now, one of my favorite things about this game series, at least, is that they made a sequel uh, for the computer years later. So this is 1982. About 20 years later, they made a sequel for the computer with probably the best sequel name of all time. So this is called Dig Dug. And then there was another one that came out in the arcade called Dig Dug 2. You know, very unimaginative sequel name. So the sequel that they made for the computer was called Dig Dug Deeper. Yeah, Dig Dug Deeper. That might be the best, uh, se the best uh, sequel name I've ever heard. This is an Electro Home G07 monitor uh, that we just messed with. This is the original tube. This is like all original, folks. 36 years later, and it's still kicking butt, still playing great, still just as fun as it was back in the day. When they designed these things, they thought they'd last like three years. This thing's been kicking for 36 years and still looks almost exactly like when it left the factory. Look at that. Awesome. So I'll set up the tripod. Let's play it a little bit and see if it still plays the same. Okay, folks, I have turned up the volume. <laughs> the volume is up. That thing you see scrolling through the screen, that's just an artifact of the camera. So the, the monitor is refreshing and the camera's refreshing and they're off just a little bit and so it, you you get you see a line go through the screen here in perf here in person with my human eyes i can't even see that so i'll coin it up we'll play it let me just hit the button all right down. <laughs> Look, he's trying to make a run for it, people. You see him? Oh, I snapped him. So I don't really have any strategy. I don't know what the best strategy would be. I guess ultimately you're trying to get points. But I always want to get... That worked pretty good. There's this weird thing where you can stop the music by stopping. Except it only makes the music while you're moving. That's kind of weird. Getting them, getting those horizontal points. What y'all know about that? Uh, 
I should have turned around. So it decoupled. You can get them through the walls a little bit. Can I beat them? game yeah let's continue oh no oh I had to hold the button it said mm. Mm. they're probably not gonna come at me yet are they Me. Oh no! That, I think it doesn't actually kill you, it just kind of stuns you for a while. But I might be wrong about that. I guess I could test the theory. Nope, it killed me. <laughs> Alright, don't let the rock hit you, folks. Now we know. He's not magically impervious to rocks. sound effects. I got him with that long arm of the law. you get the same points no matter if uh if you're vertical or horizontal because they can't breathe fire Ooh. i should be digging more you get more points now what they thought they had me they didn't have nothing Should have let go of them. I should have let go, people. That's cool. I got him down deeper. Yeah. and hold the pump button then press the start button yeah there you go you don't get to keep your score though you just stay at the same board which is fair that's fair oh 
<laughs> oh no, oh no, <laughs> they're faster than me. when it gets away? Hit start. Okay, so I'm gonna try to get rid of them top guys first, real quick, right? Through the wall. That way, the one can't get me really. And then I kind of got him out. And then him. And then I don't know if I got time. Yep, I got did it. Come on, sucker. Come on, sucker. Round eight. Uh-oh. You said they were cheating? They were cheating, people. So close. Okay, watch them run right for me. Watch them. Watch what they do. Maybe not. Come on, you sucker. Round nine. Ooh, pretty. Crazy. That's right. I got some for everybody. <laughs> I missed my whatever that was. It looked like a pepper. Ugh. I couldn't make it to my rock, people. Oh, it got him the next time around. Here I thought it was all for naught. Come to Papa. Oh, he's trying to make a run for it. Uh-huh. Ooh. you could hold it. Oh, I guess you probably got to push up on it. All right, folks. Well, there you go. That is Dig Dug. Fantastic game. Now, by the time you see this video, we won't even have Dig Dug in our shop anymore because we were just repairing this one. But we do have games available at all times for sale. If you want to see what we've got for sale, go to our website, lionsarcade.com. You can see them all there. We keep it up to date. 
or you can stop by and see what we've got in. This one's right by the front door right now, right? Stop by anytime. We're in downtown Rock Hill, South Carolina, which is about 15 miles south of Charlotte, North Carolina, which is more famous, right? Now, if you can't come by because you're nowhere near us and you don't want to buy a game because, you know, the shipping would kill you, well, that's fine. Just subscribe to us here on YouTube, and every time we get something cool like this in, we'll film a video. I was surprised we, ha we didn't have a Dig Dug video yet, but today's the day. So give us a thumbs up, folks, for taking the trouble to film this for you. That helps it, you know, it moves our video around YouTube so everybody gets to see it. We like that. So give us a thumbs up. Leave your comments below. <laughs> Boy, he did really good there. I should have watched the uh, attract mode a little more. I've probably seen it 10 million times. you think I would have tried that with The Rock. But leave your comments below. Give us a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to us, and we will see you on the next video. Dig Dug.